Hey, I'm Nate the Great. This is my lovely wife, Ty. Today we're going to be talking about how to have a sound mind in a mentally ill world. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome to your five minute lunch break, where we take approximately five minutes out of your day to give you something to snack on, something to munch on, something for your spiritual elevation. Welcome to Worship for Wednesday, where we put aside all of the weekly shenanigans and we focus on the Lord. On the Lord. Well, hi. Um. As you may know, there's a lot going on in the world. Yes. Uh, people are dying that have never died before. Uh -huh. People are uh, in a state of depression. Mm. People are just going crazy. And, you know, the Lord uh, talks about that in his holy word. He mm. says that he will give us peace that surpasses all understanding. And what we want to do today is just give you five ways to make sure that you have a sound mind in a world that is mentally ill, that is going through things, that is in a state of fear, that is in a state of just recklessness mm -hmm. and doing whatever they want to do and just, you know, yeah. ungodly. Mm -mm. So here are the five ways to uh, be of sound mind in a mentally ill world. Are you ready? Yes. Number five. Number five. Number five. Realize that you can't base life on your emotions all right as christians we base our lives on the truth found in god's word mm -hmm. not our feelings james 1 and 2 asks us to consider it all joy when we fall into various trials mm -hmm. all right james doesn't tell us to feel joyful he tells us to choose to think about your situation mm -hmm. as an opportunity where you can have joy wow. it is not a worldly or secular way of thinking. The Bible specifically tells us to have joy when we go through our tests and trials. Um, and the only way we can get that joy is if we have Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Amen. Everybody else would be like, I'm so unhappy, I'm yes. depressed, uh, you know, I'm angry. Those are emotions, okay? God and His love and His peace surpasses emotions and goes into your very soul. The way he does that is through joy and peace, all right? Number four. Number four. Have faith in God. Amen. Choose to trust God, all right? Trust what he says rather than what your eyes may see. Okay. Hebrews 11 and 1 mm -hmm. tells us that faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Okay. Okay, Amen. or it's faith is the things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, Amen. all right? Number three. Number three. Number three. Heed God's advice, mm -hmm. okay? Stop trudging through life, ignoring God's principles for healthy living. If we reject the good advice that the Bible contains, mm -hmm. we won't escape obvious pitfalls. Proverbs 2, 1 through 5 says, my son, if you receive my words and treasure of my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding, yes, if you call out for insight and raise your voice for understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord mm -hmm. and find knowledge of God. God is telling us Please listen to the advice I'm giving you in my holy word. It isn't that hard. Everything that you need for your life to make it through any possible situation is through the word of God. Amen. If you listen to godly wisdom, if you listen to godly insight, the traps that are laid for you, you will see them coming mm -hmm. and you won't fall into those traps. All right. So make mm -hmm. sure you stay in his word. Make sure you seek him. The answers are in his holy word. Amen. Number two. Number two. Number two. Sing. <laughs> Music can uplift your spirit as it did for King Saul. 1 Samuel 16, 14 through 23 says, Now the spirit of the Lord had departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. Mm. Saul's attendant said to him, See, an evil spirit from God is tormenting you. Okay. Let, your, let our Lord command his servants here to search for someone who can play the lyre, he will play when the evil spirit from God comes on you, and you will feel better. 
So Saul said to his attendants, find someone who plays well and bring him to me. One of the servants answered, I have seen a son of Jesse of Bethlehem who knows how to play the lyre. He is a brave man and a warrior. He speaks well and is a fine looking man and the Lord is with him. Then Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, send me your son David who is with the sheep. So Jesse took a donkey loaded with bread, a skin of wine and a young goat and sent them with his son David to Saul. David came to Saul and entered his service. Saul liked him very much, and David became one of his armor bearers. Wow. Then Saul sent word to Jesse, saying, Allow David to remain in my service, for I am pleased with him. Whenever the Spirit of God came on Saul, David would take up his lyre and play. Then the relief would come to Saul. He would feel better, and the evil spirit would wow. leave him. Wow. So, by playing music, uh, David was able to uh, soothe the savage beast that was Saul and soothe the spirit that was on Saul. And uh, I've always heard that music see music soothes the savage beast. Uh, there's just something about music when you play it. If it's the right song, if it's inspirational, if it's educational, anointed, edu educational. If it's anointed and <laughs> encouraging is what I meant to say. Then you know you can feel totally different yes. about a situation Amen. after you listen to the music I all right that. amen and number one number one confess your sins disobedience guilt adultery all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness amen. which is from first john uh one and nine Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of the stuff that we go through, a lot of the craziness that we go through is because of unrighteousness, it's because of the lives that we are leading, it's because of the stuff that we allow into our eye gates, our ear gates, uh, the stuff that we allow into our lives, um, the things that we watch, and a lot of that stuff can, you know, just make you go haywire spiritually and just uh it, it can make it can give you a, it can impact your life in a way that you don't want it yes. to yes especially if you're a christian and you're not reading your word or you're not praying and you're not doing the things that god has called us to do in order to live uh, a life of favor and a life of peace and a life of joy which is not saying that everything's going to be easy because it will not but it will certainly give you a different perspective of things yes. and it will uh, allow you to appreciate what God is doing in your life. Amen. All right. So those are the five ways uh, to have a sound mind in a, 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 a what? Mentally ill world. Mentally ill world. All right. And as always, I'm Nick the Great. This is my lovely wife, Ty. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube page by hitting the link down below us. Uh, and also, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. He won the championship. Yeah.